So before the break, we asked what's the average age of a zoo reader? And the answer is 23. <laughs> Those pages are stuck together. We're oh, oh, oh. watching Thursday's Right Stuff with Steve First, Natalie Pinkham, and today's special guest Richard Herring. Uh, still to come on this show uh, his partner, the worst term ever to define um, your partner. Uh, all arguments for and against to our usual number 027 173 5555. Now, before we talk about zoo, uh, let's talk about town councillors <laughs> going to lap dance clubs on fact-finding missions. OK, the first one I have is from Alan, and he says, strange how it doesn't take 12 councillors to visit a pub when they apply for their change in their licence. Uh -huh. uh, another one from Valentine. I would say it was definitely a waste of taxpayers' money. Note the imbalance of only two female councillors and ten males. Surely to get an impartial as possible outcome, an all-female heterosexual team to visit would be better. They would Why? then hopefully be as objective as possible and they'd be fully focused on the task in hand. Well, and then... So women don't enjoy lap dance clubs at all? No. Well, no. Some of them I know do. Not unless we're dancing. Mm. And then finally... <laughs> well, it's true! Of course it is, if you're up there doing your thing... You know. I wouldn't know, Kirsty. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> 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 you know an awful lot about it. And then finally, from Adrian, this is quite funny, I was just wondering if the councillors inspecting the clubs were maybe thinking they were going to get a head in the polls. <laughs> oh, my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that seat sets us up nicely for our discussion on... Uh... Zoo magazine. Can something be outrageous, offensive and still funny? The Lads Mag Zoo is in trouble after its agony uncle, hardman actor Danny Dyer, advised a broken-hearted reader to, amongst other things, slash her face, the ex, so no-one else will want her. Women's groups are outraged, as is, I have to say, Danny Dyer, who claims he was misquoted by Zoo as he would never condone violence against women. Uh, the magazine's editor, Tom Etherington, has subsequently apologised and claims the appearance of the offensive lines was a production error. What? <laughs> now, I I'm actually going to stand up for Zoo, uh, because I think it's all about context. Zoo magazine, I would say, specialises in being outrageous and offensive. Indeed, in this week's edition, aside from Danny Dyer's must-read agony column, a female readers are urged to send in pictures of your butt. There's an article about, uh, let's be circumspect here, backdoor love. Uh, and then there's the <laughs> 21, 21 funniest jokes of the week. And here's one of them. My ex came round last night. She was crying, so I told her to keep her chin up. It made it a lot easier to get the noose on. Oh. Now, no one's complained about that, but is that any less offensive or more offensive than the agony advice? Less offensive? Of course it isn't. Then why no apology for that joke? Zoo's average readership is men aged 23 going on 13. They are the ones that buy this magazine. Are they offended? Surely the old adage... A uh, caveat emptor, buyer beware applies. Take one look at the cover and you know what you're going to get inside, don't you think? Yeah, I'm going to start no, you... with the woman on the panel, Natalie. You don't, you don't look at that and see a scantily clad woman and think there's going to be domestic violence encouraged inside. You are going to know, for these disgusting. magazines, you know... I mean, they can turn around, I've read out. Domestic violence, though, maybe... You know, sexualised pictures. But the domestic violence, there's one criticism about Danny Dyer's advice, Gary, but there's no apology for that joke. Well, there should be. Right, OK, yeah, that's one point. But then I read out the stuff we can't read out with all the bad language in I, it at the I back. I can't believe... I, yeah, I, F this, C that. A, you know? Danny Dyer should take more responsibility for what goes into it's, his no, column. It's, it, 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 he was misquoted. Well, then, then what, leave, what leave the magazine. Say? Well, he's misquoted. What did he actually we say? Don't, we don't know. <laughs> well, then why doesn't he say what he actually said? Because um, he didn't... A, I don't think he said anything and someone else wrote it for him. Well, it would be that my may, guess. That might well, be. Well, don't put your name to it. But, you know, but, but then but don't leave, say you're misquoted leave and go, this is awful. But leaving yeah. that to one side, the, the last time you were here we were talking about the Hitler moustache. Yeah. And, indeed, we spoke earlier about the football player with the unpronounceable name and his Mexican gag. Yeah. Many people find uh, the Hitler salute, as we found, uh, uh, and, and presumably the, the moustache uh, could be offensive and, out, and outrageous, sure. but it can also be funny in the right context. And I, and I truly believe the people that buy this magazine are the kind of people that think that's funny. Well, but then that, I think there's a problem with it, A, because I don't see why it is fun. I can't see what the joke is. But yeah. also, if you're saying it's going to 13 and 14-year-old boys, which I think, if well, you look at it, it's very... It's, going... it's almost charmingly soft porn in a world yeah, where, yeah. Where, we, where people could look on the internet and see a lot worse things. It's going to kids. And if you... I think you've got a responsibility, even yes. within something that's full of... that is a quite a horrible publication, to not encourage kids to think that the idea of cutting a woman's face, even if it's a joke... Obviously, he's trying to make a joke, but what is the joke, I'm saying? And I think you just can't help 
help but I think. think. The you see the joke. You can't help thinking about that girl who had the acid thrown in her face. Yeah, yeah, and you no, think, well, yeah, well this, the, this the, isn't the, funny, is it? The this joke is, an awful is that thing. it's so outrageous and so offensive that no one would take it seriously in their right mind. Yeah, no, because you, these are impressionable young blokes, and you're reaffirming this kind you of stupid opinion of them. Have you ever spoken to a 13-year-old boy about stuff like sex? I mean, they just. I mean, their views are. I don't think anyone's going to. I don't think anyone's going to look at it and do it. You know, I don't think anyone's looking and thinking, "Oh, Danny Dyer." It actually yeah, means in some that. Way it but I think it. Can I raise a question? Yeah. If you've got a problem, what are you doing writing to Danny Dyer? <laughs> <laughs> Go and see a doctor or a psychotherapist. <laughs> Don't think, oh yeah, Danny Dyer. And also, the other, I can't believe that there's an editor of this thing <laughs> that they you actually would, employ a man to come like in. Because some of Danny Dyer's it. advice, in the unlikely, frankly unlikely event, I think we can say this under the election rules, that he becomes prime minister, anyone caught noncing would be castrated. I mean, this guy, it's not all nonsense. Some of it's common sense. <laughs> Advice, yeah? <laughs> Come on, Steve. It's an outrageous magazine that says outrageous and offensive things. You can read about the week in boobs and yes. then turn the page where they don't forget about bombs. I know, but it's what it does is it, 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 it sets a precedent for acceptability yeah. and it's a thin end of the wedge. And it's like, of course, it's meant as a joke. And I don't think that the readers wouldn't think it's not meant as a joke. What's the that? problem is, is that, that if that becomes acceptable, then that's a very dangerous precedent and, and it shouldn't be allowed. Speech, it, it, it also so outrageous things. But with comedy, you know, it is about pushing boundaries and if you do it in the right way and there are comedians like Chris Morris at the moment we've got a film out doing yeah. a fantastic yeah. pushing the boundaries week, yeah. uh, but you there is a point where something is actually too offensive you know you can't say I've just shot someone in the face for a joke obviously there's a point where I've just punched someone in the face yeah. or I've killed someone for a joke. There's a point where a joke is no longer funny, and you, as you have a writer and or that a comedian, the line. yeah, I yeah. think that one. And you have for me, it does. Okay. For me, okay. it does. So, not to okay. that. I mean, there's plenty of jokes that aren't offensive that aren't funny. So I don't know whether funny is, is the thing. I just wonder whether the readers themselves would be remotely bothered about it. Uh, let's find out. Kirsten. Okay, first we have Donna online too. Uh, Donna, good morning. Hi, Matthew. Uh, so, what do you think? Um, I think it can be funny. Um, it's about the context that it's written in. I mean, as you said, I mean, you don't go to look at a zoo magazine for the advice, do you? No. Well, I mean, not unless you've got a screw loose, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and I'm assuming as well, I mean, it's going to be almost exclusively men that would read it, although there is a picture of a man who helpfully tells us how he turned his wife into a porn star. <laughs> so, assuming she may have read some of that. Uh, do you think the magazine was, was right to apologise about that and then not apologise about the joke about the woman and the noose around her neck? If everyone went around apologising for every time they made a slight error, then nothing would ever get printed. Well, OK. It would be, be quite a nice world where everyone went around apologising yeah, yeah. when they made a slight error. That's quite yeah. a good Donna thing to do. Donna sounds very nice, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she yeah, does, yeah. but, you know, but I think we should apologise. It's good that they've come out and apologised. They've made a donation to a woman's... Uh, yeah, but they've only uh, apologised about the joke that Danny, Danny Dyer didn't make, but it comes... They should have, but, I mean... If but they, they didn't do it about the one with the noose the, around the problem neck, is Actually, I, if I'm actually honest, I find it possibly more annoying and, and shocking yeah. than the other one. Yeah, I mean, but the whole... You know, I find the whole magazine quite unpleasant, and, again, I wouldn't buy it, but I think people have a right to live in a free country of sorts. And uh, and we have the freedom to publish You're these kind of things. cancelling my subscription. Well, yeah. I said I said <laughs> caveat, caveat emptor. You know, buyer beware. Thank you, Donna. Let's have Online another. one we have Sean. Sean, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's in Cardiff, Matthew. Hello, Sean. Lovely to hear your programme. I think it's fantastic. Thank you very much. What do you, what do you think of... Uh, uh, do you ever read Zoo magazine, Sean? Never in my life. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had a woman. Um, that was a neighbour of ours, and we had a fallout with her, and I've actually had this said about me from her. It was the most frightening thing I've ever heard in all my life. Yeah. You know, she was actually heard screaming over the garden fence. I am going to mark her face so that every time she looks in the mirror, she will remember me. Now, in that context, I really don't think it's funny. And I love outrageous comedy. I love it. Right. But you know that um, comedian that made the joke about the soldiers, the ones that were harmed in the war, and Jimmy we Carr, had the yeah. Olympic team? Yeah. I thought that was oh, no, that's Frankie so Boyle as well. I have a great too. sense of humour. But you see, I agree with one of the panellists when he said there was that young model that had acid thrown yeah. in his face. There could be someone out there, Matthew, that might think of doing it. But, and but when she we, said we, that we, about me, we looked over our shoulders every but, day But, Sean, Sean, let's, let's balance that out with the fact it is very unlikely that Zoo is going to sell many copies to women. So, the, so women who have been victims of domestic and sexual violence are unlikely to read this magazine. I'd also like to think that the people that buy this magazine 
aren't going to do the things they read about and it's going to create them because I don't believe that kind of link exists. True, the kind of people that may throw acid in women's faces may also read this magazine, yeah. but I don't think the magazine will make that happen. And, you know, freedom of expression, I don't buy it. I think it's tat, absolute nonsense. But I do not, feel... It's not a very funny joke. I think when you're writing something as well, you have a, you have a responsibility to realise that people aren't... You know, you say a joke... You can, you can have a glint in your eye, it can come from somewhere else, but yeah. if you're writing something down... It's, it's different. It, when it you different. read it, it, it just reads... And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually the accumulation of that advice is just... It's okay. unfunny thing after unfunny thing and then ending with this yeah. cutting the face. Can, can, can I just, just, I'd just, just like to wrap this up by thanking all those people that emailed in to say they were far more offended by Danny Dyer's acting. <laughs> 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 There's a bin under here, by the way, and that's where it's just gone. Thank you, Sean. Now then, uh, after the ads, quick part to see us through uh, in the yes, uh, non-election day show, and that is who wants to be anyone, someone's partner? Wouldn't you rather be their girlfriend or their boyfriend, their other half, their significant other, she who must be obeyed, spouse, or dare I say, even companion? Oh, part, you know, it makes you think of comfortable shoes, doesn't it? Oh,